Hello everyone, Cheryl M here. I'm only coming on quickly to show you the situation with my two vases that I did last night. Um, with the Mod Podge, um, I woke up this morning and they were, they looked okay, but they were a little bit translucent. So in other words, I needed to put more, and I'll show you, a napkin on and I had to go to the doctor and just got back. So I had to just leave it until I came back. Now what I decided to do is put more of the tissue paper, the napkins, uh, and apply more to get that translucent look. I, I don't mind if it's a little translucent, but um, I don't want it where it's, it just, I don't know. I, th I think it had something to do with my Mod Podge being old because it was like the end of the bottle. So what I decided to do is I had used this before, a super high gloss Mod Podge. I'll let you see it. And uh, if you see it says super gloss. Now I used this before and I actually didn't like it. And then I was trying to figure out why but I don't want to buy a new bottle of Mod Podge for these things that I'm doing. At least not now. I don't have that much of uh, any, I, I don't have a lot of work to do customer wise with Mod Podge. So I don't want to buy a whole new bottle. So I had this super gloss and I thought, oh, what the heck. And this has a, a very high gloss to it. But the reason I didn't like it is because it dries very slow, but it has a beautiful sheen. So I'm putting some extra layers of napkin on here, plus a layer of the high gloss Mod Podge. And hopefully that'll solve the problem. It also could be um, the fact that these are dollar store vases. I don't know what vase I used last year to make. Um, her name is Jean, my friend Olivia's mother's. I don't remember, it could have been a better quality vase that I somebody sent me and I cleaned it out really good and used it and that could be the problem I don't know but I uh, because it is a less uh, of a quality basic that I need to put extra uh, napkins on there so I'm putting the napkins on there and some high gloss I know it's going to take a while to dry but when this is all done and I did do the other vase also, in case she wanted, didn't like this size vase. It's the same shape as the one she wanted, but this is a smaller size. Then I have another vase to show her if she wants that one. And then once again, the same thing. It was very translucent. It didn't look like it covered the glass. So um, I'm also gonna have to put extra layers of napkins on that, plus a layer of this high gloss. After I'm done with that, and it dries, I'm gonna say in a day or two, at least 24 hours, because this is a, really a thick gloss. Uh, what I'm going to do is take it outside to the park when I take Charlie, and uh, we are going to, uh, I have a spray, which I will show you now. It's right by me. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. I have a spray, and I'll show you. This is a, uh, the spray that I'm gonna use. It is clear acrylic sealer and it's a matte finish. So it'll give it an extra coat of shine plus a thick coat for um, it to, you know, remain brilliant and um, the way that you would want a vase to be. It gives it brilliance and a sealer and it protects the vase. And uh, there's no reason you can't put flowers in here because the Mod Podge is on the outside. It's not on the inside. So there isn't no reason, but truly I would just use it as a, um, you know, a decorative piece. So anyway, so tonight I told you I also have this sealer. Oh no, that's not a sealer. I do have another bottle of sealer somewhere. I think it's in my uh, crafting drawer. Um, that I'm going to, uh, I could ply also out in the park when I take the dog. So I just figured I'd stop in 
and tell you where I'm at. I think they're going to be okay. I was a little concerned this morning, but I think they're going to work out okay. Um, so I went to the doctor and I'm okay. She's going to, you know, she said as far as my legs, she thinks it's my spine. And I don't feel like spending money on a um, cat, I mean, a cat scan or something on my leg if it's not necessary. So um, I'm really happy to find a special, sweet, nice doctor that understands what women go through. So I'm really happy about that. Anyway, so I'll see you tonight. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a Valentine's wreath. I'm not sure if I'm going to use my foam wreath, a uh, styrofoam, or if I'm going to use my twig. I'm not sure. I'm going to kind of toss it around and play around with the flowers, etc., to see which looks best. So I'll see you later, guys. Take care. I guess you want to see. You see Charlie over there? Say hi, Charlie. Say hi. He was with me at the doctor, so he's a little worn out today. He did so much. <laughs> anyway, so I'm excited. See you guys later.